Welcome to the Stalker Series Tour, Remight in Unreal Engine Glory. The game has problems. Visually, the game is great, when you don't move too much. The game also has some strange artifacting around plant life. Maybe it's like FSR type problems, where grass and fur gets really blurry and aliased while in motion. The game has some major FPS drops. It's at its worst when an orange colored emission storm ends. Luckily, my Xbox has VRR for the small drops. But the emission almost breaks the game. NPCs randomly spawn and start shooting you, which is annoying. NPCs and their locations felt much more constant in the old games. I also had a bunch of side missions that were just not there, but showed on the map. Every time I save a video clip using the Xbox recording function, the game changes which way my camera was facing and it changes the gun I was on, which is weird. Artifact hunting is the same as some of the previous games, where it's a puzzle where you try to maneuver the dangerous anomalies to find the loot in the center, which I quite like, but not when the artifact never shows up. I also changed the spoken language to Ukrainian, and luckily the mouth movements match, because the weird mix of American and British accents doesn't fit the game. It's like watching anime in English. It's off-putting and spoils my memories of the fun Ukraine accents of the old games. What is this shit? Every mission takes you to some location you went to in previous games, like a tour, but that's kind of in line with the other Stalker games, where it builds on the same areas with new stuff bolted on. The game has a very Fallout inspired dialogue option screen, contrasting a bit how the trilogy bombarded you with a lot of reading which was a slog to get through, but now it's more of a story changing crossroads thing that leads you down different paths depending on what you choose, but it's more of a playable character NPC opinion changer than a story changer. Just like in the old games, your actions change the ending of the game, but the old games did not make it as obvious as in this game, which is something I am on the fence about. It was hard knowing if you changed something in the old games, in this it's pretty obvious. I liked the ending that I received, but it feels like I made the correct choice for my character. At first I saw the girl boss scientist with a cigarette and thought, oh no, not this, is she going to be the bad guy? But strangely, she's not. Or maybe because modern morality is screwed, I actually chose the bad guy ending that the developer intended. I think it was the good ending. The biggest turn off to me loving this game is the speed of the game. The game is incredibly long and started to annoy me near the end. I dropped the difficulty to attempt to speed up the process, but it still dragged on. I think it's not only the long missions and the map size, but the speed of the movement, and you can see how slow the game is when you compare it to something like Warzone. It needs a four-wheeler or a car or something. Just imagine driving into an anomaly and having an amazing explosion, splattering your entrains around for mutants to feed on. What I love about the Stalker series is how it merges magic with sci-fi, the dark world and the creepy folklorish monsters and I'm glad that it's continuing in all this Unreal Engine glory. We'll see if this spawns a new trilogy in The Zone. This game gets a... Got one. Yeah. Out of 10.